Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I have a really big announcement as you probably guessed from the title. Yesterday evening we have officially launched the first professional software hardware benchmark platform. Before I'm going to talk about it I would like to say thank you to all the members and the people who help with us with it. Uh, so thank you very much. The process was uh, very long but totally worth it. Now the new platform called Testreg as you know, looking for a new computer for our professional software is not an easy task. Over the years, I've helped many people to find computers for their software, but I can tell you that it wasn't easy, mostly because there was no way to know how one hardware will perform in comparison to another in real life. And also because the amount of hardware you can choose from today. There are so many laptops, so many computers, so many different uh, CPUs and manufacturers and graphic cards and so on. So as you know, the first question we always ask is, what do I need to buy? Then come all the rest. For example, do I need to buy a laptop or a desktop? What hardware component my software is mainly using? Is it a CPU, GPU, or maybe both? Do I need the hyper training or not? And unfortunately, all those questions leads to even more questions. What CPU platform to go with? AMD or Intel? What's the difference between them? What about the graphic card? I need a consumer gaming graphic card or professional graphic card. What GPU chipset should I go with AMD, Nvidia? Or what the uh, graphics card manufacturer? Uh, there are so many of them out there. AMD, Asus, ATI. EVGA, Zotac, Gigabyte, and the list goes on and on. Last but not least, as you know, is the budget. Uh, unfortunately, not all of us can afford to buy whatever we want, so we still have an envelope uh, budget that we, we have to work with. And um, so this is, can be really, really challenging. Now, all this process takes a long time. It takes weeks and months. And I will show you research results that we did not long time ago, uh, how long time it takes to buy a new computer uh, on average. So for that reason, I decided to do something about it about a year and a half ago and develop TestRig. TestRig is really the first hardware benchmark platform for professional software that helps users to find the right computer hardware uh, for their software in cost effective effective and simple way possible. It's going to save you a lot of time, money and frustration and in a moment you're going to see how it works. Currently there are only two applications, a Fusion 360 of course and Blender, but don't worry we are working on adding more software in the near, near future. In fact uh, you can all help us to decide which software will be next by taking the software survey that you will find on the website and choose which one we should add next. So if you see if, uh, that we don't have your software, of course, then you can just choose and say, okay, I'm also using this software and we'd like to see it uh, in the uh, platform, then choose that. And at some point we always keep tracking and see what is more popular, what most people would like us uh, to add. And we also take that into consideration. So, Enough talking, let's uh, take a quick look at the uh, platform. You just check the um, video description, you will see a direct link to the platform and also a direct link to the uh, research results. So here we are, this is the platform. Now, before you're going to go down and start playing with the, um, the table, you cannot do that right now, uh, in order to gain access, you have to create an account. It's very quick, okay? So just create an account and log in. Now, in regards to the survey uh, that I talked about before, it's right here, as you can see, just click on this one and you can uh, choose which software would you like us to add next. As you can see, there is plenty of options right here. And if you cannot find your software here, please let us know in the, in the forum and the uh, support section. I'm going to log in right now and here we are. So I know some of you are going to be tempted and we really want to see, they're anxious to see how the platform is actually working, which is okay. But I suggest uh, that you should first 
click on this link over here or guide you know please start here or guidance support that's also on purpose we did this it's a new platform for everyone you have to really understand how it's working and how to really use it efficiently click on please start here click on download test files and that's going to take you to our software tests uh, page here and from here you can choose which software you want to test and now the reason that you want to test uh, your machine first so you actually can see what kind of data we are actually testing and the result and those results you're going to use to compare it to other computers okay or other kind of hardware configuration if you don't have the results and you're going to go into the benchmark table so you're going to see a lot of results they really tons uh, so it's not really going to tell you that much so even though you have a computer right now and you're not going to buy a new one uh, you should do that it's also really nice to know where you are and if you also just bought a computer do that anyway it's also going to help you to see if you have made the right decision or not and i can tell you that uh, some of the people who had the chance to test it uh, they actually some of them figured out that they have spent way too much money uh, for their computer and uh, so they wished that this platform existed before they purchased a new computer so do yourself a favor and uh, test add the data and have fun with the with the table but you can see here um, you can if you look at the uh, title over here you can see fusion 360 and then you have cpu and we also give you all the information that you need in regard to your software what kind of hardware a uh, components uh, your software is relying on so you don't have to go and look around so you can see we're saving you a lot of time all the information that you need is going to be here so you can see here it's, it's using cpu uh, rendering currently is all done on the cpu the only thing a cpu will help a gpu will help you is with the model display in the viewport and if you really want to read more this is basically all the information that you need in general you can also click on that link and that's going to take you to the official uh, page on autodesk fusion 360 and over there you can read all about it but this is all the information that you need and here it's a video that's going to show you step by step on how to test your machine it doesn't take long time it's only three tests they are relatively short also showing you how to register the information into the table now there are going to be situations where you're not going to find your uh, hardware in a drop down list in order to register it so please go to the forum main uh, page and go to our support section here and tell us your uh, hardware information okay for example your cpu model the exact model that it's missing or the graphic card model that it's missing and we're gonna edit immediately okay after you finish testing your machine and adding the data you should come over here start here tutorial you can also find it on the uh, main page if you go to guidance support for example it will show you a direct link if you start click start here it's gonna take you right over here and there are five lessons where uh, we are explaining exactly all the different features how they work and how you should use them okay after that when you're feeling more comfortable you can just play with it there is really really a lot of uh, ways you can play with um, a benchmark table and i'm sure maybe you're gonna also gonna find new ways to use the table go through them and after that you finish and you understand the mindset and how to use the table you can just go in and start look for other data in comparison to yours and at prices and so on and see uh, if you have made the right decision or if you are right now looking for a new computer you will learn how to use it and to take the advantage of it and to find uh, the right computer for you let me show you another thing is um here over here you can see we also have an article that's going to tell you about desktop and laptop things to think about before making a decision yeah so let's go back to the benchmark and i'll show you just a few quick things about it after you have registered your new computer it's going to show up here under my table 
and what you can do is you're gonna add it into your favorite okay you're gonna go through the lessons then you're gonna understand everything why and so on and on the main table you will find here all the data it's gonna be here which you can uh, play with this is the software buttons here you just need to choose which software you want to check which one is yours and you can start do the selection and comparison as you can see we give you both percentage and the actual data value okay so you don't have to do all the math in your head you have everything here not only that when you're finding something interesting you add it into your favorite over here we can start doing all the different comparisons you can add all the prices and look at that for example you can see both the uh, costs if you uh, for example decide to save the 17 percent which is going to be like 200 dollar what will you get in return okay and again i'm explaining in the videos exactly how to read it and to understand it it's very simple so over here you have all the information or at least most of the information that you need in order to make the right decision on which computer you should buy next so you can see this is amazing this is something that you're not going to find anywhere that which is why it takes so long time to research to figure out which hardware is going to be good for you and then again you never know uh, what you're going to get in the end but over here you will know what you're going to get more than 50 percent because you always have to remember the test that you're going to perform the test file they're designed like this that they are not too complicated but they're not too simple either they're somewhere in between so you always have to think about it take that in consideration where i am where the project that i'm working on in relation to this test so if your project for example is not as complicated as those tests then obviously uh, the result for example over here it's gonna look different so if you think it's you're somewhere halfway so it's only it's gonna be like maybe 50 percent okay so you always have to think about it like that but you already here you have a really good indication the differences in the future we're gonna add a lot of more feature into that table which uh, gonna really help you gonna see almost exactly what you're gonna get in return okay also with your own projects so just be patient we're doing a lot of testing right now but start using it because it's a really really good starting point this one is much better than not having anything yeah so this is very very quick guiding the um how the data table how it looks like as i mentioned before start doing the test okay then learn how the um, table is uh, how to use the uh, benchmark table and then you have a lot of time just to play with it so as you can see here we're gonna save you a lot of time we're gonna save you a lot of money for people that already started using it and of course also a lot of frustrations and anytime you have any questions regarding the table the benchmark table how to use it just let us know in the uh, in the forum another thing is how uh, we would really appreciate it if you um gonna give us your feedback okay uh, any constructive feedback it's very really important to us again it's uh it's on development very rapid development this uh, new platform we are the first one right now on the market and obviously if you also have your own ideas wow it's going to be really cool if you can add this feature or this feature if you can do this and that just put it in here in the idea station and we're going to look at that and we're going to consider adding that in uh, some of the coming uh, new versions i hope you're gonna be happy with this platform i know some of the people that are already starting using it uh, they are very happy just imagine 500 of you at least gonna test the, mach uh, the machines add the data so just think about how many hardware configuration and what we can do with that how much it actually can help us okay that's it for now i think uh, don't have any more to add so, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.